Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of SRAM Access Eagle and be brutally honest and talk about who it's for and who it's not for and if it's worth it. Hardtail Party is a pretty unique YouTube channel. It's the only channel I know of that reviews frames. That means I have to supply all the parts to build these bikes up and these parts get worn out and tired after time. All of my derailers are pretty worn out and tired. So today I'm going to be upgrading and getting my favorite drivetrain, which is SRAM Axis Eagle. In order to get this new drivetrain, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and I'm gonna take my commuter bike down to my local bike shop. Remember when you were a kid and you just hop on your bike and ride down to the bike shop and hang out and it was a friendly place to be? Today I'm excited to announce the sponsor of this video, Thunder Mountain Bikes, one of the last remaining great local bike shops. They're my go-to shop when I need a quick part, an adapter, or I wanna hang out and talk bikes with a knowledgeable staff. When you walk in the door, you'll be greeted with a smile from a courteous bike enthusiast who isn't burnt out from the COVID bike boom. The storefront is small and quaint, and while they have a great selection of tires, helmets, and apparel, they also have a huge warehouse full of parts that you won't see when you go to the shop. Sedona's main industry is tourism, and Thunder Mountain Bikes is set up perfectly for people visiting to ride our amazing trails. They offer mountain bike rentals, skills coaching, tune-ups, and repairs when you realize that Highline was a little bit harder in person than it looked on YouTube. Not only is Thunder Mountain Bikes a great local bike shop when you're visiting Sedona, they also sell online. They offer the same awesome service with super fast shipping, 60 day returns, and a 100% stoked guarantee on all online orders. So whether you're looking for a fork or a wheel set or a GX access upgrade kit like me or any other part for your build, click the link in the description below to see what they have. If their website says it's in stock, it's in stock. And if you add an order note letting them know that Hardtail Party sent you, they'll hook you up with some free Hardtail Party stickers in your order. When you choose Thunder Mountain Bikes, you choose supporting a local bike shop run by passionate people who really love mountain biking and haven't forgotten what it means to run a friendly local bike shop. All right, on trail with the SRAM Axis. Well, let's be honest, this is just a shifter and a derailleur. It doesn't change how you ride unless you're shifting. Now, a lot of people don't realize it, but shifting is actually a skill. What your right thumb is doing when you shift is super important. And you think, well, you're just pushing buttons. It shouldn't matter. You ever notice that when you're riding, it doesn't shift so well? and then you get to the shop and the mechanic throws it on the stand and it shifts great. What a lot of people don't realize is mechanics shift bikes all day long. They know exactly how hard to push on that lever and when to stop. Sounds dumb, but it's a skill a lot of people don't have. They push it past the click or not quite there enough. I know people are gonna disagree with me on that, but I see it all the time. Okay, one place I'm missing my old shifters when I could just dump three or four gears at once and I'll just let up and spin lightly while I dump four at once. Can't do that on this. You kind of can, you can just go one, two, three, four, but it's not the same as just one big sweep and getting them all at once. And I didn't realize how much I did that till I switched to Axis. That said, the best shifting experience I've ever had is Axis. I think it's the best. But SRAM Axis is definitely a polarizing topic because it requires batteries. Parts of what make mountain bikes so cool is they're simple machines that always work. They don't need batteries, you don't need to charge them. You just pick them up and go. And by adding something like this, you've got another step you need to make sure you're on top of. And for a lot of people, that'll be a deal breaker right there. 
but man, it shifts faster and cleaner and better than any other drivetrain I've tried. And if you're a big Shimano fan, these are cross compatible. You can run Axis with Shimano 12 speed. You just have the SRAM derailleur and shifter. You can still run the Hyperglide chain. You can still run the Hyperglide cassette. I love that they're cross compatible. So on the stand, you'll instantly hear the little zzz, 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 zzz. when you push the shifter, it makes noise. When I'm riding, I can't hear it. When I'm trying to hear it, most of the time the dirt on my tires is making more noise than the shifter. But that noise, some people love it. I actually don't. I prefer a quieter, less robotic sounding drivetrain. I do have more confidence to try stupid stuff, knowing that if I were to whack it, the clutch would give out and it would move out of its way. I love that feature. So personally, I'm hoping this outlasts three or four derailers for me to help justify the cost. And if it does, I think it'll be worth it for my uses. I don't have any complaints with a cabled gear system other than like routing cables or fishing them. Or if you have a full suspension where the cable length grows as the suspension goes through its travel. So in no way do I feel like traditional cable derailers are holding me back. They're not. They shift great. They work every time. There's no batteries to charge. They're pretty dialed these days. And I know people's biggest complaint with bikes often is the drivetrain and the shifting. I don't really have that complaint. Drivetrains are so good. Even that Advent X I ride which is like one tenth the price of this is just fine until I smack it on a rock and then it gets out of alignment. Even Shimano Dior 11 speed, just fine. So I actually don't have a big complaint with modern drivetrains, even the lower end ones. But on a strictly performance note, this is my favorite. Now, even though I'm a tinkerer, I don't love having to go into apps to change settings on things, especially with a bike. I get on a bike to disconnect from technology, not, you know, I don't have a computer here. I'm not tracking my heart rate or my speed or my elevation. I'm just here to unwind. And fortunately, you don't have to use the app. I mean, you might want to use it when you initially set it up. You can control which button goes which way. So if you want to swap that around, you can. You can control, if I hold down one button, how many gears will I let it dump at once? One thing I love about the app, you can see where it is in its index, it has a little scale and it shows you where it is in that range. That's really helpful to just look down and know how it's indexed on that specific bike. But once I've set it up, I don't need to use the app anymore. And so I don't pull it out, but for those tinkerers that like to, you've got that option. But really it's just shifting gears. So once it's shifting right, I don't feel the need to go in there and tweak it anymore. It shifts so smooth and so crisp and it's faster. I don't know what it is. I never feel like a good cable drivetrain, even like XX1, I never feel like it's lagging, but this is just instantly crisp. This is just incredibly precise. When you hit the button, it goes the same exact mount every time. And I actually think it's gonna be easier for newer riders because you don't have to learn how to press the lever. Sounds really dumb, but it's a thing. All right, let's go play. Now, I'm not here to convince you that this is for you. I'm just telling you what it feels like and who might and might not want this on their bike. Kind of ironic, I'm running cable disc brakes with a wireless shifter. It's really instantaneous. You don't realize the microseconds you wait on a normal drivetrain until you get on this. And it's not gonna be night and day. It's not gonna like change your life. But there is a difference. Really interesting. Man, that 
thing is good. It shifts quick. It's really nice when you find yourself in a bind, you come around a corner and you're like, uh oh, I didn't plan for that. And you just give it two quick boop boop. And it's there in half a pedal. It's the difference between making a lot of obstacles and not making them. So is this worth it for me? Time will tell. If it saves me time on my builds, yes. If it stays working well and is robust a year and a half from now, yes, it will be worth it. Does it mean I can manual better and did it change my skills? Unfortunately, no. When you find the product that you buy that unlocks your skills like manuals and clearing big doubles, let me know so I can invest in that and we can all be millionaires together. This bike is so good. Oh, I love a quiet bike. Let's see if we can get the sound of the motor now that I'm in the sand. I only hear it when shifting up. It's fast. I love the ergonomics of the shifter too. They're my favorite ergonomics. They're easy. And you can still reach behind and trigger shift with it if you want. I know that's a must for a lot of people. It's just no nonsense, flawless shifting. Pretty amazing. Man, I wish there was a way to program this to work with Advent X cassettes. Then you could really save a lot of money because those cassettes are great. I love the way SRAM cassettes shift. They're just so expensive. And I don't really need 12 speeds, 10s plenty if I've got the range. Woo! Oh, the shifting is spoiling me. It's a little thing, but I'm loving it. I'm going to definitely notice when I'm not on Axis Eagle. Isn't that the way it always works? You get used to these really nice, convenient, unnecessary things. Then when you don't have them, you turn into a little baby and you're like, oh, I didn't make that climb because my shifter wasn't Axis Eagle. <laughs> the truth is the best rider could be on the worst components and still spank us. But that doesn't mean you can't save up and buy the components you want. You worked hard for your money, you spend it however you want. And bikes are a great way to spend money. It gets you outside, gets you playing, gets you exercise, good for your mental health. There's no reason not to invest in this sport and keep your bike exciting to keep it riding for you for a while. It's funny how just upgrading one or two parts a year will keep your bike feeling fresh and exciting to ride. Huge shout out to Thunder Mountain Bikes. They are awesome. Next time you're buying online, any part, give them a call first. You might be surprised at their inventory and their prices. So today we're here to answer the question if SRAM Eagle Axis is worth it. And that really depends. Worth it is a tough way to pitch something. For some people, it's totally worth buying a $2,000 wheel set because it makes their bike 5% better and that's totally worth it for them. For other people, no way would they spend double the money for a 5% increase. And this is one of those items that spending half as much on your drivetrain as this gets you 95% of the performance. So is it the value bargain of the year, the best way to stretch your dollar? Absolutely not. So for a lot of you, you're out. That's fine. It's not worth it for you. For others, it's not worth it because now you have to charge batteries and worrying about a dead battery is gonna prevent you from having a ride. And so for a lot of you, you're out. I totally get that. And I'm not here to convince anyone that this is for them. For others, you want the absolute best performance, no matter the cost. And in my opinion, this is the best shifting performance out there. I've ridden gearbox drivetrains. I'll do another video on those in the future. I've ridden single speeds. Maybe single speeds are the best drivetrain ever except they're also the worst drivetrain ever. But for derailers and shifting, to me, this is the best drivetrain experience. Who this will really appeal to are people who like bling on their bike. They like showing off. And there's a lot of people out there that 
we'll throw the latest and greatest stuff at it. I mean, this is a totally bougie build right here. This is like super bling. I've got the best of the best on this thing. And I'm fortunate enough that a lot of companies will send me great stuff to test. And when you add up all these amazing parts, they make small improvements here and there and put together, it actually makes a pretty awesome difference. So if mountain biking is your thing, it's what you live for, it's what you dream about when you're working, it's what you save part of every paycheck for, and you don't care if it's the best value and you just want something cool that excites you and that's new and latest and cutting edge, this is one way you can make your bike stand out and be unique and have that slight performance edge on shifting. You can buy the GX Axis Upgrade Kit, and this would be a great way to, to bump up like a bike that came stock with SX components and you're ready to just jump like eight levels and get great shifting right away, you can keep your old SX NX cassette and just do the GX Axis upgrade kit and get wireless and great shifting right away. So like, let's say you got the Specialized Fuse 29 Comp that comes with SX Eagle. I think this would be a great upgrade to really bump that up. You lose the SX derailleur, you gain Axis Eagle, GX and you get the wireless so you can get rid of the cable. It's just less clutter on your bars and you get that quick, instant, precise shifting. That would be a huge upgrade. If you're running XX1 already and you've got great shifting, this is gonna be like 2% better. So it may be worth it, it may not be worth it. As mountain bikers, we are so good at justifying spending lots of money on our bikes. Many of us, I know a lot of you are really sensible and practical about what you buy and why and when. Some of us, when we see a new thing and we want it, we want it and we can't get it out of our heads. And we will come up with the most ridiculous excuses to justify why we need it. I do feel like Axis Eagle is kind of one of those things. So my excuse to justify this, and I actually got a couple of these Axis Eagle upgrade kits so that every bike I build, I can save hours a month not fishing cables, not uh, buying cables and lengthening them and and shortening them as I swap drivetrain from bike to bike to bike. This makes a ton of sense for me. What's your justification? I wanna hear what your dumbest justification is for any bike part and how you talked yourself into it. That said, this has some really cool features. I like that if you slam it on a rock, it has that giveaway and the clutch will move and let it get out of its own way and protect the derailleur. If that works and long-term in two years now, I still have the same derailleur, it will actually pay for itself. Another big benefit is if you're shipping your bike, you can pull it off real quick and you don't have cables dangling around and you can ship your bike and protect the most vulnerable part while shipping. Like if you're going on a flight and you've got your bike all boxed up, that's a great way to protect it. I think most people are interested in this, in, in decluttering their bike and having one less cable, one less thing rattling around, one less thing in the cockpit. And they do look clean. When you've got these, you know, one less cable, it looks a lot cleaner. So if you are gonna go wireless and you do want to get the most bang for your buck, get the GX one. I cannot tell a difference shifting between that and the XX one. And this is like four or $500 cheaper. So this is the one to get like, it, it kind of is, budget's the wrong word. It's the best way to stretch your dollar if you're gonna go wireless. And I don't see the reason to upgrade to XX1 unless money's just not even a factor for you and you like the bling and you want the best of the best, go for that. But I have zero complaints about the GX Eagle over the XX1. So is it worth it? To some people, yes, to have one less cable, to have a simpler building experience, to have a more robust derailleur, to have better performance, just that instant crisp shifting for people who have disabilities and their thumbs can't move very well to shift stuff. It sounds silly, but just pushing a button, way less effort. For people who seem to struggle to have their gears just, they don't shift crisply, this forces you to. It's a button and it's got, it's either up or down. There's no like one and a half clicks. There's no one and 1.1 clicks. You can't mess up your shift with this because you just hit the button and it goes into the right shift. So there are some things, there are some reasons for it. If you want access, you know you want it and it's just a matter of time. So just get it, just rip the bandaid off and get it. And get it from Thunder Mountain Bikes. They are wonderful. They have fast shipping. They're wonderful to work with. And if you tell them you worked with Hardtail Party or that you watch Hardtail Party, anytime you order with them, They'll throw in some Hardtail Party stickers. They're an awesome shop. And don't just think of them as a Sedona shop. Think of them as your local bike shop 
that happens to not be local. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys are awesome. There's a party in the mountains, and you're invited.